Welcome to another episode of A6 without Andy. Fuck Andy. Andy can suck my dick. Hey, 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 hey. Off. makes like an issue about something to me I always it's like I have it's like if you complain about something you've created the altar you have created like the oh, so, the oh, conversation oh, like, oh, for oh. now till eternity okay so you're saying it's my fault yeah so yeah. It, it, it's my fault that you keep doxing me on the fucking internet on the show that's my fault it's your fault for not knowing who, you, who you're dealing with what you kind know, of bullshit is that? Because listen, man, I like I like stirring shit up. So if you're gonna tell me, you know what I mean? That's bullshit, man. If you're gonna tell me, hey, I don't like fucking you know Crocs, I'm gonna wear some Crocs to the show and be like, check it out. I might get you your own personalized see, set of Crocs. You see, those two things are not the same, bro. Like those not even the same stratosphere. Well, I I just like things when, when things are fucking funny. I like you know I like oh, oh, oh that's funny. That's funny to me. Okay. Okay. Got it. It's funny to you. Got yes. Okay. And and got I have a got weird it. sense of humor. Okay. It was also funny when I uh, found a horse whip at the horse farm in Job Corps and I brought it back to campus and watched all the black people just freak the fuck out because there was a white dude walking down the hallway with a whip. <laughs> they were like, white man with a whip. Dude, everybody thought it was funny. Hmm. Everybody. You know what I mean? Hmm. They were acting like it wasn't funny. But it was. It was funny. People were, like, crying and stuff, but it was like, they were just, they knew, you know? Gotcha. They were like, why would he do that? But I was like, yeah, right. You, you don't feel that way. Say no more, fam. And there's nothing, and when black people cry, it just hits different. Oh, you see, Sam crying about it. No, no. I'm just saying, like, you know, like the 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 shiny stream of tears on like it looks different, like when it comes on black skin as opposed to white skin. Like when white people cry, it's all red and ugly. It's like, like when black people cry, it's like this. It's like it when black people cry, it's like it's like uh, distinguished. Y'all cry like this. I would have made the moments last a little longer. And then a single tear will drop. You know what I mean? That shit looks cool. You can take a picture of that. You know what I'm saying? Versus like a white person crying like <laughs> and snot bubbles and all that shit. <laughs> Just like falling to pieces and shit. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when a black person <laughs> faints a cry, you can really, really tell. You know what I mean? Like, you can really tell they're not good at faking a cry. Like, that guy who was like his, he was on a talk show, his son was like, Still love you! <laughs> like, that was supposed to be the cry. I'm just saying. I missed that one. <laughs> Welcome back. To another exciting episode of A6. I am your host, Andy. Mr. Gucker. Mr. Gucker to you. But that might as well be no nonsense. Because I do not play. Except with himself. Come on, man. I'm just a key and peel. <coughs> Mr. Nostrand. I don't, I don't watch them niggas. You don't watch the key and peel? No. Nah. Not really. Oh man. Like I mean, every now and then I might see see a skit or two and shit, but that's just you know shit you be showing me. I mean, I don't be looking for them niggas. What you want me to say? Not that I'm hating on them. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, no, I got you. Everybody's allowed to like. I mean, I don't, I don't what they want to like, but I, I mean, I mean, you, I mean, I'm not saying I dislike them. I'm if just, you don't. All right, all right. All right I mean, whatever. some of they shit be funny as fuck, man. I just you know what I mean. Some people are more on the Dave Chappelle bandwagon. 
Ain't just ain't a lot of shit I be searching out for real, for real, you know. Like I've been like weaning myself off a lot of that shit. All right, so we're we're sitting here conversing and and yeah. gabber whacking and stuff, but nah, no whacking. <laughs> Definitely no whacking. Gabber jacking, jabber Not whacking, jabber jawing. Jabber jawing, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Molly whopping. Yeah. Ain't no whopping even. No whoppers. No, Molly whopping. No whoppers. No. But you know, the shit's shit's getting real though in the A6 studio. To be honest, like uh, we both decided pretty much at the same time to get back to work. You know what I mean? And get our asses back in gear and all that shit. <laughs> and it's weird watching the watching what's happening out there in the economy because. The Seven Elevens around here ran out of like coffee creamer like months ago, <laughs> right? And in DC, it was like, wow, they still got lots of coffee creamer out here. So obviously, my Seven Eleven is just super ghetto, and so are all the ones around my area, mm-hmm. right? Which is you know normal for me. I Supply have... chain problems, right? But then, I, then I get to, to work the other day out in DC, and oh, they're all out too now. And they don't got no more coming in. Oh, shit. Now they feeling ghetto as fuck, too, huh? Dang. Right there in the Golden Triangle Crushed. District, man. 19th Street. You know what I mean? The richest neighborhood in D.C. Crushed. And they don't got shit no creams. in their goddamn 7-Eleven. No cream. No half a half at all. It's Watch. Uh, tell them niggas gonna start pulling the gallons of motherfucking, uh, what is it? The, uh... The vitamin D milk out the motherfucking fridge and shit. Like, you ain't got no creamer? Use the milk. Use the milk in your coffee. Well, it'd be one thing if we could supplement that. If we had the money to go buy, like... so, Because you can go find a bunch of organic milk just sitting up on the shelves. And a bunch of rich people are probably like, just get that. You know what I mean? They don't even know what the price of milk is. So they're just like, just get that one. There's some milk right there. Just get it. God damn it. What are you thinking? <laughs> you know what I mean? God. And you're like, no, it's four fucking dollars for that milk. Four dollars. <sighs> I wipe with four dollars. You know? Yeah. But people like us, we've been getting hit, dude. Like, okay. I started work at this at this shop. Yeah. And then it was Thanksgiving. So there was like four days off. And then it was Christmas. Another four days off. New Year's, same thing. Four days off, right? And then, like, you're like, okay, man, thank God all those are over. Boom, I didn't even, you know, next thing you know, MLK Day hits. And Martin Luther King's birthday is on Saturday. But they gave us Monday Monday. off. You know, Monday. Mm -hmm. It's like, the people, what the fuck are they even thinking anyway? It's like... They don't even follow MLK's teachings, you know? All the people that would be mad about, like, working on that day yeah. are the same people that are trying to cancel everybody and, and and cause race division and all that shit, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They're not even following uh, Martin Luther King. They're following Malcolm X. You know what I mean? They're following the ones who... By any means necessary. Exactly. Like, yeah. at, at, at the expense of the people. Well, is That's it because he had a more hip-hop name? I mean Malcolm X, like Malcolm X, and yeah, versus Martin Luther. Yeah, call me by my God-given Christian name if you call me at all, good sir. That shit just wasn't cool no more. You know what I mean? It just wasn't cool no more. Now, I, do you think that Martin Luther King Jr. would have like his message would still be strong and standing today if his name had been MLK back in the day? If he would have just came with it right away, like I mean, the, probably stronger for real, for real. He was like, "Yeah, call me MLK." People would have been like, "Oh snap, this motherfucker's in the block. He's in the building today." You know what I mean? They probably wouldn't have been able to shoot him. You know what I mean? Because all yeah. his crew would have been there and yeah. shit. Like, yeah. I don't know, man. I think about the weirdest shit sometimes, but that's what that honestly, that's what where my brain went from. Like, hmm, I have no money. I need to work. Like all the way to like. MLK on the block. You know? Yeah. Shit, whatever. But, <clears throat> that, you know, your, my brain's just all mixed up. Like, what? What kind of shit's going on out there? I'm watching people all day that disappoint me. And, I, you know, what do you do about it? As soon as I get up in the morning and leave the house, I can't. I got to go to 7 Eleven, man. I got to get my coffee. Mm. Right? I'm not bougie. I'm not going to go to Starbucks and get coffee. 
and 7-Eleven's right there. But every day, man, there's these... It's the same dudes. Probably, like, three dudes, you know, in different spots. And each one of them's like, can you help me today, sir? And it's like, no. (laughs) (laughs) No. I got to get on the bus to help me. Can you help me, please? I'll tell you what. Get a job and split my rent with me. You know what I mean? Like, I'll help you with $600 a month for your apartment if your apartment's my apartment. You know what I mean? Like, mm. straight up. But it's like, is this a career that people are making? They're, they're like, they wake up in the morning and they think, man, I wonder how many hours of begging people it's going to take. You know? Like, like I, I literally, you know, sometimes I get in conversations with these guys. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, you know, and when you have to tell somebody, look, I'm doing what I'm doing because I don't want to have to beg, and they're begging, it makes them feel like, oh, you know? And I'm thinking the conversation's done now. I'm like, okay. I had a talk with this person, mm-hmm. gave him a cigarette, yeah. moved on my way. Right. Next day, sir. So, so, so can you meal today? Yeah. And it's not even, can I get some change? Sometimes it's, you got a couple dollars. It's like, man, you really want a lot out of this world for nothing now nah, see let me tell you what I started doing to make them niggas stop asking me for shit when them same uh, I mean different 7-Eleven same shit you know what I'm saying niggas like ask for cigarettes first you know what I'm saying you know cause like first couple like I mean for bro that's why when you when you say it's like a Korean shit I, I believe it is cause like Nigga try to scope you. I see what you go in there and buy and all this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? See, see, you know, if they can ask you for some shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's always in front of a store, mm-hmm. so they know you have money. They don't ask anybody walking by them on the street. Mm-hmm. But right. go ahead. Like, so like, <coughs> motherfuckers ask me for cigarettes. And shit like that. So what I start doing is niggas ask me for a cigarette. And shit. I'm like, I need a dollar. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you want a cigarette? You gonna have to pay me for it. Nigga, stop asking me for shit. Problem solved. Oh man, that's not a bad idea. Problem so solved. if they ask me for a dollar, I'm gonna be like, give me a cigarette. Nah. Because they'll be like, sure. And I'll be like, yeah, damn it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but they ain't gonna pay a dollar for a cigarette, that's for damn sure. Unless it's broke day. Unless it's hurt day. Nah, but the funny part about it is you'd be surprised, John. You'd be surprised. Like, in the fun- it's, it's, see, but see, the dilliest fucking shit, the shit that be happening with that crap, though, is motherfuckers that don't ask you for shit enough times and shit, done seeing you enough times, and uh, enough times even being told, nah, nigga, I can't do shit for you. Motherfuckers still act like they know you and shit and want to talk to you and try to dab you up and shit. I'm like, Slim, I don't fucking know you. The fuck? Oh, my favorite one is like the big smile and it's like, okay, sir, God bless you. It's like, dude, I know you don't mean it. (laughs) (laughs) I know you don't mean it. And if all of a sudden in front of your face, God reached his hand out and blessed me, (laughs) you would be like, what about me? You know what I mean? You'd be pissed, bro. You know what I mean? If all of a sudden God did bless me, <laughs> you would be blown. I know you don't mean that shit. So, you know, step off with that fake That's niceness weird. shit. I feel you on that, that two-faced shit. Uh, I was more yeah. likely to hand something to somebody that's just like, hey, man, I'm hurt, dude. You got anything to spare? See, I'm going to tell you this, though. I'm gonna tell then you somebody this. with a line See, or a gimmick. I'm going to tell you this. Like, what I, like, what I explained it is a workaround to tax motherfuckers that be trying to tax you off of laziness or whatever the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? With that with that bumming mentality and shit. But like think like my whole thing about it is this. Like if I if I already hurting this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't I ain't really opposed to helping people and shit, but I'm more inclined to help people that I know. Versus motherfuckers that be bumming and shit. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, you know what I'm saying? It's <coughs> kind of, you know, because of what we discussed. You know what I'm saying? And some motherfuckers just be working people with that shit constantly. You know, just be trying, just trying to work angles, working angles, just trying to figure out some way to hit that motherfucking angle in your goddamn heart to come up off of that money. You know what I'm saying? And, like, dog, that shit, 
That right. shit that should be too much for me, bro. Well, yeah. you know, it reminds me of it reminds me of those scammers that call you, yeah. and they're like, "Oh, you remind me of my, you know, my brothers." My brother's guy, you know, they try to get a nice personal connection with you real quick mm-hmm. and then rip you the fuck off, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's probably the worst kind of rip off is a backstab. You see, I'm going to tell you something, though. The way to shut people down like that, especially people that are trying to manipulate and work you and shit, is that brass shut down real quick. You know what I'm saying? But like, look, I don't want to hear that shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, oh, that works. Like, yeah, I know. That. Oh, yeah, like, like, but you know what I hit them with? It's just stuck like shit in their brain though you know what I'm saying I don't know what to say next shit I just won't say anything and I'll wait till you get 12 feet away and then go fuck man fuck and say something that I can't quite understand but I think basically means this motherfucker ain't coming off of shit Mm. so no but you know I do like I'll walk by him so I'll just be like nope (laughs) like you know that's that old fucking white dude that's that country boy shit nope as soon as you call Hey, mom. Nope. You know what I mean? Like just like that. Yeah, but see, part of that, part of that shit too, though, bro, is like <coughs> I understand what it's, but it's like to be down. I understand what it's like to be out and all that shit. You know what I mean? But it's like it's, it's one thing to understand that shit, to know that, to have been there. But it's another thing to be okay with staying there. You know what I mean? And that's a whole other different type of issue and shit, especially when you see the same motherfuckers consistently on the job. Like, hey, you got a dollar? Right, right. Hey, you got you got some change to spare? You know what I mean? They got all the change. It's like me precious. They right. just got like they got little goddamn pots and nothing but motherfucking pennies and dimes and nickels and quarters and shit. Just turning <laughs> black down in the fucking sewers just, inside a big ass closet. Right, just just turning into just like nasty. Qu- but see, like, but, hold on, hold on a second, hold on. Because I want to go back to uh, what you were talking about, like them wanting to stay that way or just choosing to stay that way, yeah, right? Yeah. There's a guy in the city, all right. It for a while I was cashing my checks and getting thirty five in ones <clears throat> every week. I was like, well, I can do thirty five. I remember the conversation in my head. I was like, thirty? Nah, if I could do thirty five, you know what I mean? And that's gonna be. For all the homeless people that talk to me, I'll give them two dollars. Hmm. Bad mistake, bro. Because then all of a sudden, every fucking buyer won't start talking to you and shit. Dude, like it, it, it worked and worked and worked until like they get so comfortable with you giving them that two dollars and shit. You know what I mean? That like when you don't, some of them get really. You start to see why they're on the street, why they're homeless. Why does nobody want to be around you? Right? Mm-hmm. Ah, because it's like you get them drunk and all of a sudden they're like, fucking assholes. Everybody's fucking stupid, you know? You know what I mean? Like they just get the huge cocky head mm-hmm. and they think they know everything and they talk so much shit and smack that it's like, I gotta go. You know what I mean? This shit is annoying. You know what's funny though, man? You could probably say that about a lot of people. Yeah, right? Well, I mean, a lot of people are annoying. Yeah. A lot of people got to go. Yeah. For my life, at least. I'm not saying they got to be exterminated or anything, but, like, just can't be around me. Shit. I'll say it. Starting with the pedophiles. (laughs) (laughs) The problem with uh, killing people is just that somebody's going to turn to you and be like, hey, well, we don't like what you do either. You know? Yeah, but, you know, the thing about it is, like, I'm not going to say the word again, but... No, 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 you're right when it comes to hurting people. People that are serial herders, mm-hmm. yeah, got to go. And luckily, it's like a, the percentage is, I think, in a reasonable number that we could... If we got rid of all of them, let's say, it wouldn't destroy the Like, nothing would change. You know, nothing would change except the heads of companies because they're all the pedophiles. Dude, I just was watching this thing, the BBC has this giant statue of this guy in front of their building that was commissioned by uh, a a very prominent uh, font maker from back in the day. It was like when you, you know you have fonts like mm-hmm. sans this and mm-hmm. whatever that. Mm-hmm. Like, well, this guy made his own font, and it's something that we use to this day, right? It's a very common font. Mm. And what? Let me guess. 
Wing dings. <laughs> you know, no, that's not common at all. You use wing dings, wings dings. People are like, what the fuck are you doing? I have to translate this shit with my computer? Hopefully it, you know, whatever. Right, right. Hopefully it, it, it correlates. Right, right. No, no, no. Oh my, what if, what if it's your phone? Wing dings isn't really going to work, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, no, so this guy, though, was known for a couple things. He, he was... Uh, a prominent businessman and he continued to make different types like throughout his life uh, but he also had uh, he played funny games with his daughter and dog funny funny games like uh, like my funny bone like you laugh at the funny bone well his daughter and his dog uh, he, he thought they were really funny and he uh, enjoyed making funny jokes with them. I don't think we can say that. He fucked his dog and his daughter. Oh, wow. Right. And this was well known. Like, he was considered like a tyrant in the family, right? A family tyrant. And he had a statue commissioned. He's. He had a, or he made the statue that stands on top of the BBC building of a man standing over top of a small naked boy just and the, the boy's like up against him like up against his crotch and he's like holding the boy by the shoulders so it's like a old man and a little naked boy so like reason, face front or face back face forward okay with the little pinky and the brain sticking out and everything you know this guy recently went up and tried to tear it down you know what i mean like uh, you can look, at, you can find out what I'm talking about by looking up. Man tries to tear down BBC statue. That's some weird energy. Right, right. And when I say BBC, I don't mean you know. Yeah, I got you. But here's the thing: how can they not change their name now? Now that, now that officially, uh, the black people have adopted the BBC as a thing, yeah. and it's not going away. Yeah. Actually, it's white girls that want the BBC, right? Like, uh, you have to be white to want the BBC. Because if you're black, you just want the C. Um, here's the thing. I don't know <laughs> anything about wanting any kind of C's at all. I'm saying you, you, you know, know what I'm saying women, right? I, I, I deliver BBC. I don't know anything about wanting BBC. I'm just Do you saying, understand like, what I'm saying? Okay, so when you I'm like deliver, FedEx, UPS, Amazon, I deliver those packages. Right. So if you were banging off like some some little white girl, you'd be giving her the BBC. Correct. If you were banging off some Latino girl, BBC. Correct. Right. If you're banging off a black girl, the C. You're just having sex. <laughs> <laughs> you're just fucking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I mean, she's not <laughs> like, oh yeah. <laughs> That big place. She's not like. Well, I mean, that's not that's not technically one hundred percent true, man. I just, I mean, really, really, bro. It just. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You know, what it, I mean? it's 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 its, it it's, its own subculture. You know what I'm saying? Like, the fuck, man. You know, I, I mean, I guess you know. It's what, a genre of its whether, own. Whether whether or not whether or not any nigga can be considered part or excluded from the BBC club I guess <coughs> would differ would differ from bitch to bitch depending on the type of uh, packages she's had delivered in the past well I tell you what man I'm I'm at that age now where like um I don't like frequently driven tunnels and I can tell like I can good. tell when I'm in a road if they've been maintenanced yeah. or not yeah. or if this you shit has had a lot of yeah, fucking yeah. mileage going yeah, through yeah. it you, you, you prefer the road the, fo the road less traveled like if I think about the, 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 the mileage that's gone through the road I lose interest that's a problem you know what I mean? That's a real problem yeah. because at my age, all the girls I'm going to be with... Yeah. The road has been traveled <laughs> many times. <laughs> the road has been traveled many times. What can you do? You know what I mean? You just got to, like, take it. It's the, you got to take it like a champ and just be like, you know, from now on, it's... It's like, well, that's what she's been doing. Right. Taking it like a champ. Huh. Just, like, enveloping all of the BBCs. 
This is just fucking weird thinking about that shit, man. Like, like it's just girls are weird, man. The way they want it in them, it's like ah, yeah. But it's, 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 I, I, I got you. But it's not all it's of them, you know weird, what I'm saying? Yeah, but like, the problem, but see, the problem is, is that, like, you know, you know, sometimes if, you know females are prone to jump, and when they're prone to jump, jump they will, Pro, you know, you know, very uh, ferociously they will jump. Well, I'm just saying when women see titties. They go, hmm. When men see titties, they go, hmm. Women and men, we both, when we see titties, we go, hey, look, titties. You know what I mean? Like, we all like to see titties. But, like, if I see a dick, I go, I get aggressive. I get fight mode type shit. Like, you know, I'd be threatened. Like, when a woman sees a dick, she's like, ah, unless, glorious. Uh, unless it's an any. You know oh, yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, unless there's more balls than penis. But even then, they're like, ah, and they point <laughs> with their finger real close, like, ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, what like this is snip <laughs> <laughs> the ground clip. They all get next to the selfie style, like, it, look, it's not there. <laughs> look, it went back in. <laughs> it went in. Look, <laughs> it looks like it looks like a Nautilus. <laughs> God, what the fuck? Anyway, uh, what we're talking about? Oh yeah, fucking. Is it is it the BBC if it's a black guy? Yeah, you know what? That's a really racial topic. That's a really racy topic. Like racy, you know what I mean? Like, so let's switch topics. What should we talk about now? You got something, right? Yeah. Uh, I was thinking about something earlier, man. Uh, YouTube. Shadow banning, tinfoil conspiracy theory content. Like so, I was perusing YouTube earlier this morning, and I was noticing that YouTube was suggesting to me tinfoil conspiracy theory content pertaining to the NFL. Right? You know, what if the NFL is rigged, and you know, <coughs> suggesting all these plays, just you know, just a litany of, <coughs> of videos. Beat me over there with the same shit, right? And the thing is, it's like I seen all this shit, and I was like, man, hold up. I right? felt his rage. Yeah, and the thing is, it's like, but the thing is, it's like I saw all these motherfucking videos and shit, and I'm like, alright, Slim. All of this is ten four material to people. To most people, they're like, man, this is fucking bullshit. What the fuck is this crap, right? But this is suggested material that's not flagged by YouTube, which means they're okay with this ten four conspiracy theory concept. Like, this is good conspiracy. Bing. Right. Well, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, they're all going to respond differently. There's stuff that'll stay up on all platforms but one. You know what I mean? Like, it, that's just how that's always been. I actually, um, there was a guy talking about it on Joe Rogan Podcast. He was actually grilling one of the heads of Facebook, you know, or Twitter. Mm -hmm. He was grilling one of the, I forget, whatever it is. Mm -hmm about how they censor people you know what i mean yeah and i'm just gonna throw youtube in there to make sure i'm right <laughs> so i've said all of them now but uh they, they definitely do some censoring on the bird app i can tell you that yeah but the, that's the thing though the things that they censor there they might not censor here they might yeah. you know what i mean yeah so you got to pick your platforms in that case you know mm -hmm. what i mean mm -hmm. like honestly i would know full on right away if i went back to twitter after being gone for however long mm -hmm. If I say certain things, I'm going to get problems in Twitter. You know what I mean? So I just, I'm not over there. I started an account that with a name they didn't like, and they just banned it. They, I didn't even put nothing in. They didn't like the name I used, and they were just like, this account no. is uh, no, under no. suspicion, or something like, like, we think that this might be a troll account, or some bullshit like that. I was like, alright, uh, I guess I can't use my account. You know, I mean... It, yeah, I, I, I still, I just, I think I still have it in my login, and like I try to log in, it's saved in my log info. Mm -hmm. I can't get in it because the name of it was Savage Jack Wild. SJW, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and they were like, no, mm -hmm. we don't like that. Mm -hmm. Well, my, my idea was if I'm going to come over to Twitter, I am only going to troll, and I'm going to do it from this Savage Jack Wild account. And I'm going to say okay. the most SJW shit that you can ever fucking think of. You could probably, honestly, bro, at this point, you could probably get away with it. Like, because, like, I'm in with some folk, bro, that are just, like, world-class fucking trolls, bro, I swear. Like, one Bama just got, like, his old shit blown, man. This Bama, 
was up to like fifteen thousand followers, bro. Like like every time like somebody with a check mark got blown up, this nigga would He got his w- own shit blown. Yeah, but like That's it, how you get a hernia. Go ahead. But like every time like, you know, some verified account would get clipped or some shit, the Bamba would copy the fucking uh their old at and the uh the uh, the profile picture and shit like hey I'm back on Twitter and shit and all these motherfuckers are blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it did this shit like twenty fucking times bro. <laughs> that shit was funny as fuck man <coughs> like, it's just like you know what I'm saying like just being on Twitter man bro you see you see dip, like way, way boring advanced. just like Twitter's boring nah, nah, it's advanced advanced trolling over there even bro. stories about Twitter are boring <laughs> all it is is just reading oh I did see a couple things where people are putting pictures up on Twitter now, right? Fuck you, man. It's way more than just words, man. It is more than words? I thought it was just reading all the time. Every time I upload Twitter and I start scrolling, it's just like, words. Well, well, sometimes there's reading and sometimes there's pictures and sometimes there's video and there's also spaces. Look, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with reading, okay? Mm -hmm. But I read the book Fahrenheit 9-11 and I wasn't mad at him. Okay. What the fuck they got to do with Twitter? But burn the books. I don't want to read anymore. I just want to see memes and, I want, and emojis. I want the world to be run by like hieroglyphics again. You know? Okay. I'm sick I, of reading these. Okay. Well. Okay. Words. Well. Well. Get back on Twitter and follow me, and I get you in touch with the right people. Because when you try to like express yourself with your mouth, it's hard. Let alone trying to spell out some shit like. No. No. Like you know. Like like I said, bro. Yeah. It got Twitter spaces and shit. Man. No, you're right. People turn into savages on Twitter. Like there's this guy yeah. who's literally just like a drolling nerd. You know what I mean? Like, like blog on the bus. And like, but he's steady on Twitter. I see his like little hands moving. You know what I mean? And yes. I bet you he's just on there like, well, first of all, all of you need to realize, like, he probably speaks like a hundred miles an hour. I'm gonna tell you, and I'm can't gonna tell you even this, move too. I'm gonna tell you this though. If clitoris flicking ever became a factory worker's workers job and shit, he <laughs> he'd have it down pat. Just right, just sit him down in a chair. Yeah, just lock him in that position. Have have your girl or somebody come in and sit down next to him yeah. in two chairs, and he just goes, <laughs> just like next, and then it brings in two more girls, and they just come out like, oh, oh, they just crawl out like right, done. Right, right. I mean, he be sitting punish, like, straight punish that shit. He be sitting in a pile of cash, bro. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that. Put the put a little thumb condom on and just. Anyway, not a bad idea. I was speaking of not a bad idea. I came up with a brilliant idea. So I was thinking about how to solve the lesbian no dick crisis that we have in this country. Like how lesbians don't really get good dick, just uh-huh. plastic dick, right? Yeah. I was like, well, what can we do to help out our fellow humans? Bar- borrow a dick? No, 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 no. no. Which not a bad idea, but most of us don't have a detachable penis, mm-hmm. you know. I mean, I can come with it. I mean, literally and figuratively, but yeah. But they don't want to have they don't want to have a guy that can beat them up in the room. They want to be the guy that can beat up their girl. They don't want to have a guy in the room that can beat them up. So, and, and that's not that's purely speculative. I'm just I don't know. You mean literally or figuratively? Literally. Okay. Like yeah. They're, they don't want any. You know, why, a why, guy does that, why does that constantly have to be a fear though? It's like just because you know a nigga's physically imposed doesn't mean he wants to fucking destroy you, man. I know, but we live Fuck. in a culture of fear now, where people are like, if anything is a potential danger, just I don't want to be near it. That's just Joe Rogan. Man. Joe Rogan said he made his table wider because when Mike Tyson came in, he was so intimidating that Joe was like, "Dang, this guy." Could, basically, I think he's like, "This guy could come across the table." And get me. So I need extra room between me and my guests. You know what I mean? Mike Tyson was... Yeah, he said that. He said, Mike... He said, you know why this table's wider? Because of Mike Tyson. He was so intimidating that I was like, this guy could tear me to shreds. And he put more room between them. You know what I mean? People are scared of the possibility of things happening. You know what I mean? But um, where where were we? What what, what was I talking about? This always happens. You remember what I was talking about? No. God damn. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, okay, I got it, okay. How to solve the, the, the crisis in our nation. 
uh, the lesbian dick shortage. Okay. There is no uh, it's absence. Lesbian dick absence. Right. There is no lesbians with penises. Okay. That I know of. I'm actually, I'm sorry to all the lesbians with penises. I know you're out there somewhere, just fucking enraged. And I love <laughs> you. I love you. <laughs> it's just a, but I love you. So tone it down. Now, my idea is such. Okay, we do. We we now have cloning, right? DNA. Uh, cell, uh, stem cell research and all that shit, right? Okay. Let me grow, a, grow a farm of dick, a field of dicks. Precisely. So you make the baby never grow old. It just stays little, and you just feed it with little drops of like food liquid in the in the jar. And and it's just a big. Penis. But its cock grows like to full term. You know what I mean? The cock gets full term, and you just keep them all growing in the dick farm until they get like. What about the balls? Right. It's all there. So, it's all there. They can so, get skeeted on. They can fucking... It's warm. It's got, like, all the nerve endings will touch your nerve endings and fire them off in ways that plastic just cannot do, ladies. I'm telling you. I, I'm telling you. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. We'll call it the fetus. The fetus. It's a fetus, but it's a penis. The fetus. What do you think? Something wrong with you, bro. <laughs> Something's wrong with the world. When a woman, or a part of me, a lesbian, can't get a fresh, you know. Like drop. I mean, like I mean, but it's like, would you go pick one? Pick Air one up at drop. the pick one up at the what? The farmers market. I mean, if I had my way, I would be like on top of a chair. And I would be in control of all of the companies. You'll get and a Phoenix at the farmer's market? No, they would have to come to the Phoenix factory and buy it from my Phoenix outlet, just like Apple, because it will be a huge product. Hmm. And I will rule the world Ima once I become a imagine, entrepreneur. Imagine a 30 second commercial of that at the Super Bowl. <laughs> buy my Phoenix so I can rule the world. All right. No. Like, I have been taken over by the people that took over Elon Musk and Zuckerberg, and now I am a robot, too. So what happens when you get too rich. One of your eyes gets big. Yeah. Look, at, look at all of them. Jeff Bezos, big that, eye. You get that Forrest Whitaker shit. One of your eyes gets big. One's on lazy as shit, no one is just like... You know the lazy one is? The lazy one is the one that gives a fuck about people. That one just never wakes up. It's like, man, I'm just... Like, Over here, weak as fuck, man. Yeah, like, and the money be, eye is like, it should be like, like don't one, give a fuck about anybody. Like just one, get the money out of like, their body. One eye be like, little as shit, and looking all the way the fuck down here and shit. No one just be like, big as shit, looking straight ahead and don't turn in any, any other direction unless money comes up and they don't start twitching and shit like, right, like right. fucking antenna firing off and shit. Like, right. that, that person, that, that body has money on it. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Scrape the body, the money will come off. Like they'll just have machines to just scrape all the <laughs> scrape people, and we'll just be like skin ah, laying on the ground, like oh. But they'll have our money, like and then separate the skin back at the plant. You know what I mean? Like I'm telling you, man. Like if people could, certain powerful people would just eat us. If they could, yeah. <laughs> if they could, they would yeah. just have like yeah. Thursday, like. People night. Everybody come over. We're having people. That's, mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's tough right there, man. God damn. We're having people. Cannibalism. Full blown. Yeah, but if you're rich, it's not tough. It's easy. Yeah. If you're rich, it's easy. It's tough when you're like a family in like 17th century Moscow, and you have too many children, but you can't stop fucking. So every nine months, you just eat the baby and have a feast. But. <coughs> It's disgusting. Every nine months we celebrate and we have a feast. That, that's disgusting. A fetus. A feastus. A feastus. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Damn. good one. Damn. Right? Fetus. Why do they call it? You know, anything that starts with feet isn't good right away. You should call it something better than that. You know what I mean? It's a little person. Call it something cool like Drago. Drago. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Super embryo. Right, super being. Like, new being. Call it something other than the fetus. Neo-human. Right. 
the zygote, the, the sperm and the egg yeah, turn the, into a zygote. Yeah, the thermocidal lubricant, jubilant. You remember when you were a zygote? No. Do you know what a zygote is? Uh, it's like when you're like a little... Yeah. <laughs> you're going to look a little ball of nothing yet. Like chewing gum is what you said? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Zygote, yeah. I, you know, I remember when I was a zygote. Life was tough, bro. Life's been tough since I was a zygote. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> and it never got better, bro. I heard my dad yelling at my mom, and it just never got better. <clears throat> Anyway, man. It's funny, though. Like, you think that uh, babies, they hear, like, the fighting and shit in the womb, and they come out angry. Or, like, if they're really peaceful in the womb, they come out like, oh, like. I don't know. I ain't got no kids. I don't know. You don't remember? like No. Mm -hmm. I swear to God, I have, like, these memories that I can't, like, quite explain. Yeah, memories of you as a baby? Like, I have memories I can't quite explain, like, like acid-type memories, where it's like, I remember, like, this feeling of just being, like, compacted and warm and, like, but yet being nervous because the mom is nervous and the dad is angry. You know what I mean? Like, the dad is angry and the mom is nervous and the baby's nervous and it's really dark and compact, so I can't see... I do have memories from as a littler child that I can see in my head. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, you can pretty much see your memories. Remember what it looks like. Remember what things look like. But then there's, like, these certain primal memories I feel like I have that, like, it's pointless to have them because it's not, like, something I could use, but I just feel it sometimes. Like a, like a smell might bring up a memory or something. <laughs> well, sometimes, like, I usually, like, I'll be asleep. And if I'm, like, awakened by, like, my alarm clock or something. Awakened? Like, hark, who goes there? <laughs> yeah. I, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> who dares awaken me? Cast asunder from my slumber. Oh, don't wake me up from my sleep. I'm going to be pissed off at you for real, man. Like, here's the deal, man. Like, you can call me anytime you want. I'm a wide open, you know? You can call me one in the morning, right? But don't you dare call me at three in the morning because I'll flip out. Motherfucker, I, I got to get up in, in like three hours. Fuck you. You know what I mean? Like, you have ruined my night. I hate you now. Hey, if I got to get up at six, don't call me at, at five. You can put your phone on mute. I'll freak the fuck out. Yeah, but see, here's the deal. I need my alarm. I mean, no, like, you put your phone on mute, it'll mute it from ringing, not from the alarm. You know, I... Yeah. You got me, man. I'm Gen X, bro. I don't remember. I don't know all that technology. I'm just kidding. I know how to do it. But it annoys me to, like, sit there and fiddle with it. So I just... God damn this thing. Throw it in the river. I just turn off every... Fuck it. God damn phone. I just turn off all notifications because if I don't, YouTube is going to tell me all day... Hey, this person is doing it. all night. YouTube will just be like, "Hey, check it out. This is a. You might like this. Don't do that to me in the middle of the night, YouTube. I hate you now. You know, later on I'll like you, but at the moment I hate you when that happens. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fucking assholes. It'd be nice to leave it on. My leave my internet on in uh, case like an emergency. Somebody wanted to hit me through. You YouTube is some fucking assholes. <sighs> some assholes. Yeah, not all of them. I bet you there's some good guys that work in the YouTube some studio. Round assholes. I bet you it's the good people in this YouTube studio mm. are why are, are the reason why everything isn't banned. Are the reason why certain things get flipped, certain decisions get overturned, people get allowed back on because of the certain people in YouTube hey. that are like, dude, no, yeah. we don't want we don't want this for our company. And, you know what I mean? You, like, things like this were... Going back to your football thing, you know what I mean? It was supposed to be something that wasn't, like, part of the norm. Back when football started, it was, like, a group of guys in a town wanted to play football, you know? And then another guys were like, hey, 
there's this game I learned. You want to play it? Let's play it. Oh, we love this game. You know, next thing you know, it's like, hey, we can start leagues. Mm-hmm. Ruined it. Everybody was having fun before. Yeah, and you know, well, when it got ruined, is oh shit, we can start making money off of this shit. And then, t- and then TV money just killed it. Right, right. Okay, yeah. So when it was leagues, and they were like, hey, let let my team play your team, see who wins. All right, bet. The word bet. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Emphasize Vegas, there. Vegas. Because we're going to bet on it. You know what I mean? It's, something's going to happen. Some kind of money is going to get trained. It's been happening since the dawn of time. Since the dawn of money. Yeah. Motherfucker's been trying to get more off of, like, pure things. Taking a pure, fun thing and turning it into a big racket. Where everybody just gets, you know, what they can out of it. And nobody's even doing it for the love of it anymore. Yeah. You know, and besides that, you're not even taught to from uh, from youth. You're not even taught to love the game. You're taught to fucking work the game, yeah. get to that money. Yeah, get to get what you can and get out. If you do this, you'll get to the money. If you're good enough, okay. I'm gonna put all my effort forward and just try, 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 try to get to the money. But like, the people that love football, they're too fat to play football. <laughs> <laughs> the people that love football, they their their knees hurt. You know what I mean? They can't go play football. Those are the people that love football. It's a distraction to watch athletes do their thing. You know what I mean? And it's a distraction. Mm-hmm. I I don't know. I don't know, man. A lot of things are distraction. But like with you know, but honestly though, that was kind of the whole point behind why I brought that shit up because like it just cons- it was. It made me think about it and concern me that this is, you know, controversial content that's not flagged versus, you know, other controversial content that does get flagged, right? And then I was like, okay, well, why is, you know, YouTube okay with this but not this? I'm like, okay, it's a distraction, you know what I'm saying? Versus the content that does get flagged from something that's vastly more important that, you know, people should pay attention to that they don't want you to pay attention to. Yeah, there's a major nefarious thing that's happening in the world, and the big players are all aware of it. Now, the thing, that what they're also aware of is like, okay, we can allow this kind of stuff to happen and this kind of stuff to happen, and it won't affect our major move. So they're starting to, basically, they were like, tighten it all up, piss everybody off. Now start releasing what we can. You know what I mean? Just make it safe for us so we can still make this major move. My problem is when all of the censorship and everything revolves around uh, COVID. Because that's when, think about it. You and I, well, I started a podcast and grew it to like 130-something people. I mean, I grew it to like nearly 100 people. But when I started talking about really talking about COVID, when I it was when I put out the George Floyd riots, uh, which got a, like a thousand or so views right away or something, mm-hmm. I forget. When I put out the video, all of a sudden I stopped getting new subscribers, and I stopped getting views on my videos. So shadow banned. Mm-hmm. Right, I'm not banned. They haven't given me an infraction or anything, but they're just no longer putting me on the like yeah. river flow of mm-hmm. new people. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're just yeah. no longer mm-hmm. allowing that because you know, and and I did get one of my videos taken down for medical misinformation. You know, and when all I did was speculate, I really wasn't saying I think or I know something. I was always saying I don't know. I try to prefix everything I say with not a scientist, you know? not wearing like goggles don't have on safety gloves none of that shit like don't know anything but have I've got we've got gut feelings and we've been right about a lot of shit and I've been surprised at how right we've been I'm just saying like my vaccination stance is turning out to be uh, the right one that I took I'm happy with what I did there you know what I mean throughout this situation and the way it's ending up. Mm. Yeah. A lot of people were scared some bad shit was going to happen. But 
to 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 you if you you know went my way, but I went my way, and yeah, a couple bad things have happened as far as prejudice, people being bad people to me, but nothing as far as sickness or anything, you know. So whatever, that was a that was a horrible way to end things. I don't want to end on that note. So yeah, it sounds very drab. And yeah, let's have a fist fight. No. Like, 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 rock'em, sock'em, robot? Wait, I don't know. Rock'em, sock'em, robot. (laughs) 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 Enough, man. This is starting to feel like a hate crime. I don't want to do it. Uh...